Hello, my name is Javier Carza and I am a developer advocate at Akamai. This video is about Edge Workers, which is part of Akamai's Edge Computing Solutions. The Edge Worker service makes it possible for you to run serverless code closer to your end users, improve your application performance while accelerating deployment times by applying solutions on a massive scale. In this video, we are going to cover how to set up Edge Workers, which usually takes 5 to 10 minutes and consists of three steps. First, creating an Edge Worker, then adding the Edge Worker to a property, and third, activating the property into the Akamai platform. This initial setup is often done by an admin who manages the Akamai service within your company and has the right access to the Akamai Control Center to create Edge Workers and update existing properties. You also need entitlements for Akamai Edge Workers and a delivery product. Once you have completed this initial setup, a JavaScript developer can create and deploy the JavaScript Edge Workers code. Please, Note that everything we are showing here can also be implemented programmatically using APIs. First of all, log into Control Center at control.akamai.com. Then we click the menu and we'll go to the Edge Workers option. The Edge Worker Management application will show all the different Edge Workers that have been created and their associated IDs. IDs are just numbers that are auto-generated for Edge Worker. Let's click the Create Edge Worker button. We will enter a short name to help us identify the purpose of the Edge Worker. I'm going to type hello-world. Using a group is optional and in general it is used to segregate access. On the demo account I'm using, I could select the top level developer advocacy group if I want this Edge Worker to be visible to all my colleagues. But I'm going to select the subgroup Javier to keep things tidy. Then we'll click the create Edge Worker ID button and we should see a confirmation message on the top telling the Edge Worker has been created and we will see the new ID, in my case 5357, and the list. Note that you can edit your Edge Worker at any time and rename it, but the ID won't change. Make sure you remember the name and Edge Worker ID as we will need it in the next step. Next, we need to add our Edge Worker to a property. To do this, Select Properties within the main menu and select the property you want to use. In our case, I have edgeworkers.akamidevelopers.com, so I'm going to click it. Usually, you need to create a new version to edit a property, but as you can see, version 8 is inactive and can be edited, so let's open it. So now we can scroll down a little bit and click the Add Rule button. I will give the rule a meaningful name, like a slash hello-world space edge workers. And then we'll click the insert rule button. Before we add the edge workers behavior, we will add a match condition to limit which pages the edge worker function should apply to. This is important for performance and pricing. You want to make sure you are only using your edge workers when they are needed. Let's click the add match button to add a match criteria and define the scope of the Edge Worker. In my example, I'm going to enable my Edge Worker code to run only when the path in the URL matches slash hello-world. If you want the Edge Worker to execute for all available URLs, you can just remove the match criteria. Next, click the Add Behavior button. We'll search for Edge Workers. Click the Edge Workers and click Insert Behavior. And you can see we have only to select from the drop down the one we created before, 5357, hello world. Let's scroll to the top and we'll add some version notes indicating the change we just made. We'll click the save button and we should see a message on the top of the screen indicating the file has been saved. Good. So once this message goes away, I should be able to click the Activate tab. I'm going to click on Activate version 8 on the staging. A new window will appear and we'll click the Activate button on the bottom right. Okay, Activate version 8 on the staging. Perfect. 
I can see version 8 is activating in a staging. Usually activations in a staging are very quick. So now we can see the configuration has activated successfully. To recap, in this video we saw the Edge Worker setup workflow, which consists in the three steps of creating an Edge Worker, adding it to a property, and then activating the property. We are now ready to create and deploy our JavaScript Edge Workers. I encourage you to take a look at the Getting Started user guide on learn.akamai.com and get familiar with all the concepts we discussed in this video. Thank you very much for your time.